So I don't know if you guys heard me with from the cold start, um, but uh, yeah, guys, there's no DIY online for this. Um, I was honestly kind of just winging it off of experience off of an N54. Um, so I was able to get it done, uh, and I was reading about that white smoke coming out the exhaust after an injector change. So the white smoke is coolant burning off basically from the, um, the car getting flooded, basically. You can, you can hydro lock the car, if uh, you drive long enough on a failed or on a stuck open injector, um, which I did drive for a while, probably like I want to say two miles before I decided to uh, stop fucking trying to drive on it for whatever stupid reason. Um, but uh, so they said it's going to take a little while to to burn off all that coolant and uh, fuel in the system. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get some oil right now. Uh, run an engine flush through it with the oil. Um, I'm actually debating not doing the engine flush just because I want to get all that fucking oil out of there now and then maybe do two engine, uh, engine changes back to back um, just to be safe. I know it's going to be expensive, but at least the first one will get all the shit out of there. That way I know that the, the engine's not going to hydro lock. Go ahead and refill it with the engine flush. Let that run 10 minutes, clear it out, and then do another engine flush. Take a look at that oil, guys. It looks like chocolate milk. If you don't know why that is, that's because... That's because, um, the... Hold on. The engine oil has coolant and fuel in it. So that's why it looks all fucking chocolatey like that. So what we're gonna do is, uh, I bought enough oil for two engine flushes. Or one engine flush, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill it back up with uh, oil. I'm gonna go ahead and run an engine flush through it and then go ahead and swap the oil one last time. You can smell it. It smells like fuel over here. It smells like fuel like it did, like it did when, the, um, when the car was acting funny. So, yeah. So I wanna make sure I get all of this shit out of here before I go ahead and swap in that new stuff. And then when we get that new stuff in, we'll go ahead and fucking uh, make sure that we, um, flush that real well and get going. This uh, engine coolant right here is all the engine fluid or the coolant that fell when we were doing the fucking, when I took off the heat exchanger, that's all that is right there. So I'll check back in when we're all done. All right, so I don't know if you guys can hear me over my neighbor's lawnmower or weed whacker, but uh, I flushed, I uh, put the engine flush in this oil change right here, uh, warmed up the car for 10 minutes, um, car was idling perfect. The pops and bangs were fucking orgasmic. Um, so yeah, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and get the final oil change done. Still got some white smoke coming out the back, but like I said, that's gonna be normal um, if you had a failed injector because it's gotta clear out all that shit out of the system. So let's go ahead and uh, change this oil and see what it looks like now. Now guys, oil's coming out nice. Real nice. It'll come out even better on the second time, um, but we're not gonna go ahead and drain it. Just, just this one time, and that's it. But yeah, oil looks nice. See, see, it's not milky in consistency like the last time. Uh, also, what I've noticed is uh, with the heat exchanger, you're gonna spill coolant in the engine bay. Um, that's fine. Just make sure you clean up as much as you can. But um, when you start, you know, warming up the car, it's gonna have to burn off all that shit that wasn't. Um, cleaned up. So when you smell the coolant, don't fucking panic. It's gonna be normal to see a little smoke out first up here in the engine bay. It's just the coolant burning off. I added the uh, Jectron Mo Liquid Molly uh, injector cleaner to the fu fuel tank, and I also added the ethanol fuel treatment. Hold on, maybe I'm blind. Oh. Jesus, right in front of my face. Okay, I added this as well, uh, two ounces. Uh, this is what Paul said, go ahead and add this. He didn't say this specific one. He said uh, top top liquid 
fuel or something. I don't know. It, uh, it's just an ethanol treatment. It's just another ethanol treatment um, fluid, so uh, that should work as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, everything's done. Oil change is done. Now I just need to put all the strut brace and and uh, everything back together. Uh, I'm not going to record that and bore you guys with that. That's simple stuff. Um, but yeah, guys, all it was was a bad injector. Um, if anything else happens, though, I'll definitely keep you guys posted. So uh, if you're new to the channel, my name is Gabe. I make content on my F80 M3, of course. Um, and uh, I'd love for you to subscribe and hang out and, and watch some of my videos. If you guys have any questions, you can find me on Instagram at bluesclues underscore M3. I'll put it down here. And then, uh, or you can just drop it in the comment section here and I'll get back to it when I can. Car's pulling fine. Car is pulling fine, boys. Thanks for watching.